So, this is an impromptu video vlog, I guess. Let's go book shopping. This is the first kid-free day I've had in weeks. Um, there is a free Wednesday program for the kids that do virtual learning, um, where parents who aren't sending their kids to school can send their kids to this special Wednesday program so that the parents can get a chance to either go to work or run errands or do whatever they need to do. I'm running errands today, but I need to make a stop at the mall. So I want to go find a certain book at Barnes and Nobles. It's a collector's item. Um, so you guys are going to tag along with me while I go do that. It should be fun. No kids. No kids. Don't mind the dirty clothes in the back. I'm on my way to do laundry. I haven't been able to do laundry because I don't want to drag the kids along with me because it just takes longer. So, I got no kids today. I'm going to do a shit ton of laundry. That's not going to be fun. But book buying should be a blast. I didn't come to the mall to get books, but there is a specific book that I want, so I'm gonna get it. <laughs> See you guys inside. Rest in peace, Eddie Van Halen. Okay, well, I, oops, I wanna get another book. Yes, I definitely wanted to read that book. I really don't need to spend any more money, but I want to get one more book. Ooh. My phone is going off. I do want to get smash it. But this chick is Sam had a really little burn our bodies down. They're getting born. I sh oh, I should get a graphic novel. <gasps> Clown in a cornfield. Okay. Good books. It's like being in a toy store for me. Let's get this one. Clown in the corner. Let's get some horror. I want all of these books. 
So I'm like a kid in a candy store. I'm like graphic novels. I can't remember the last the last volume of a certain comic that I bought. So I'm going to have to wait to get home and check it before I buy another one. Okay. Let's go. I need to go do laundry. Ooh, Dune. Dune. Oh, God. I want these books. I want these books. I'm going to buy the whole set. Walk to the register, Kiki. You do not need another book. Walk away. <laughs> you don't need another book. You need to go home. Whoa! It's bright up in here. I got a lot of lights on right now. I got my room lamp on. This fucking ring light on. The closet light is on and my reading lamp slash computer desk lamp is on. It is booming up in here. Woo, bright light, bright light. I feel like gizmo. All right, <laughs> I have a headache. I've had a headache all week. And I went book shopping today, which I shouldn't have done. I shouldn't have did that because I'm not working right now because of COVID. Thanks a lot, COVID. You ruined my fucking life. I'm not working and I'm not getting no money. That's the thing. Unemployment hasn't come through for me. So I'm basically living off my savings. So I should not be buying any books right now. I shouldn't be buying any fucking books. What is wrong with me? Because books make me happy and I'm miserable and I want to just be happy and smile. But I don't have the money to buy the thing that makes me happy. So I just got to be miserable. Okay, you already did it, Kiki. You already did it. Just let go of that guilt. Let go of that guilt. It's okay. Tomorrow's problems are for tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to be okay. All right. I went to the mall to buy clothes for my children because they are growing out of everything. It's like, stop growing right now. I don't have any money. <laughs> They're growing out of everything. So I went to the mall to children's place. Okay. I'm not one of those moms that go spend buckets of money on expensive ass clothes that they just going to grow out of. I went to children's place. They reasonable. Plus I have a children's place car. So I didn't have to spend cash, even though I got to pay that back. I didn't have to spend the cash right then and there. So, plus I get the rewards. Okay, whatever. So I went to Kildred's place. Got them some clothes. And then I had already made up in my mind days before that when I go to the mall to get the boys their clothes, I'm going to run on over to Barnes and Nobles. Because they have this book that I want. Now, I first saw this book on Jessie May's channel. Um, I guess she was doing like a book haul video or something, but she showed this book and I was like, oh my God, I want that book. And so, long story short, I ended up at fucking Barnes and Nobles. Why, why, why did I do that? And then my sister called me. She called me in the middle of the video vlog. She called me, her birthday was last month. I still haven't gotten her a gift and she loves to read too. So I said, let me know which one of these books you want <laughs> and I'll get it for you for your birthday. So I ended up getting my sister a book for her birthday, a full price book at that. And I got myself the book that I was looking for plus another book that I wasn't looking for because I couldn't resist picking up an extra book. And then I went to do laundry and there's an Ollie's right next door to the laundry mat. So I got hungry. I go into Ollie's to look for some snacks to snack on while I wash clothes and ended up in the book aisle <sighs> and bought another book. Shoot me, shoot me now. So I got three books to show you here. I bought three books for myself and then I gave the other one to my sister. <sighs> I have a problem. I have a problem. I have a real big problem. Okay. 
<laughs> I bought the books. It felt good at the time. And now I'm just feeling guilty. It is what it is. All right. So the book that I bought at Ollie's and I did buy the potato chips too. I went and bought potato chips in a book. But you know, Ollie's have, has very, very cheap books. Sometimes you can find books for a dollar. I used to get a lot of books from there, but lately their selections haven't been as great as when they first opened. Cause Ollie's in this town hasn't been there for that long. When they first opened, they had some great selections and now it's hit or miss. Um, but I bought volume two to a graphic novel that I had started last year. And that is The Waking. I think this is, it says, yes, two. So volume two. And so what this is about is people coming back from the dead. And this book was $2.99. So that's not bad. $3, $3, people are coming back from the dead. And if I'm remembering correctly, they're coming back from the dead and they're seeking vengeance on people who hurt them while they were alive. I think I'm understanding that correctly. If I remember, I'm going to have to reread the first volume, but I like this and, um, it's not something that's well known and I've never heard of it before. I saw it at Ollie's and I bought volume one and then I went today and it was just, it was sitting there too. Like one of the display books, it wasn't like pushed in sideways. It was sitting like this as I was coming down the aisle, it was calling me Kiki. Come and play with us, Kiki. I'm right here. It was just calling out to me. So that's that. Can't wait to read that. Now I gotta research and find out if there's more volumes to go with this graphic novel because I was really enjoying this one. So I need to find that out. And then I bought Clown and a Cornfield. It looks creepy. I don't even know what the fuck this is. I, I, listen, I'm not going to say I don't know what it's about because clown is in the title. So it's ha it has to be a story about a scary clown. I mean, how, how could it have, how dare you have clown in the title and not be a scary book about a scary clown? So let's, let's see. Okay. So there is a homicidal clown in this book. Listen. This sounds like it's going to be a ride. I don't even want, like, I like to go into horror books and mysteries and thrillers, not knowing too much. It's about a homicidal clown. Okay. That's, that's all I need to know. And I just so happen to have Pennywise back there. Hey, hey, boo. I said, hey, boo. Then the book that I originally went into the store to buy was this collector's edition of The Stand by Stephen King. It's gorgeous. And you cannot see the coloring well here because my lighting sucks. This book is so freaking big. Look at this. So this is an encyclopedia. <laughs> It's gorgeous. Okay. This book is about a pandemic. So it's gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. And so this book is basically our life now, guys. This book is Stephen King's version of COVID-19. I had ran across the synopsis of this the other day when I was making my Stephen King video. I mean, I had already known what this book was about, but I was researching and I ran across the synopsis and I had posted it on my Instagram and Facebook page and was like, wait a minute, are we living in a real life Stephen King novel right now? Because in this book, people are living in a post apocalyptic world after they've dealt with a dangerous pandemic that wiped out nearly half the world's population. And it was a weaponized, um, strain of influenza that wiped everybody out, which one of my theories is that COVID is a, um, bioweapon. I think it was manufactured and put out deliberately to deliberately kill people, but that's just me. 
But I feel like, are we living in a real life fucking Stephen King novel right now? We're living the stand right now, guys. We are living this shit right now. And people say fiction has no substance. My ass. This is gorgeous. I just wish my freaking lighting was good so you guys could really look at that. Oh my God. And it got the gold. <laughs> the gold edges like foiled. Oh my God. This is uncut too. This is. <laughs> I had to have it the complete and uncut edition. The stand. This is so beautiful. <laughs> All right, I need to stop. I have another one to add to my Stephen King collection now. I have no self-control. And then I got my sister, the Black Flamingo, which I've talked about several times on this channel. The Black Flamingo is about a um, black drag queen. And it is written in poetry. Yeah, that was just a little mi mini impromptu uh, vlog. I had no intentions on in doing a vlog today. I look a mess. I look so rugged today. I don't feel like doing my hair. I don't know when I'm going to feel like doing my hair again. Thank you for tuning in. I'm a little nutty today. Sorry. <laughs> and... Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy my content. And um, I think that's it. Come talk to me over in the comment section or hit me up on Instagram. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Ooh.